your entire community so often is targeted or blamed for the violent acts of the very few. People conflating the horrific acts of terrorism with the beliefs of an entire faith. For more than a thousand years, people have been drawn to Islam's message of peace. The standard greeting is, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Whoever wants to enter paradise, the Prophet Muhammad taught, let him treat people the way he would love to be treated. Muslim Americans enrich our lives today in every way. There are neighbors, the teachers who inspire our children, the doctors who trust us with our health. There are scientists who win Nobel Prizes, young entrepreneurs who are creating new technologies that we use all the time. They're the sports heroes we cheer for, like Muhammad Ali and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And by the way, when Team USA marches into the next Olympics, one of the Americans waving the red, white, and blue will be a fencing champion wearing her hijab. Ittihad Muhammad, who is here today, stand up. Come on, let me... Muslim Americans, keep us safe. There are police and our firefighters. They're in Homeland Security, in our intelligence community. The overwhelming majority of the world's Muslims embrace Islam as a source of peace. It is undeniable that a, a small fraction of Muslims propagate a perverted interpretation of Islam. They're not the first extremists in history to misuse God's name. We've seen it before across face. This is the truth. We have to understand an attack on one faith is an attack on all our faiths. The first word revealed in the Quran, Ikra, means read, to seek knowledge, to question assumptions. If we expect our own dignity to be respected, so must we respect the dignity of others.